seems like there's always a trade-off trying to get a better deal on auto insurance. And starting in 2006, first as an experiment, and now common in the industry and growing in sophistication and privacy invasion are the devices that uh, Progressive first came up with tracking how you drive, but in a pr pretty rudimentary fashion. Now, that's really something the auto insurance industry is all in. And the tracking is getting steadily more sophisticated. And so the whole time you're driving, the eyes and ears of your insurance company are with you, but the benefit is that you may well get a lower insurance rate. But auto insurance is really starting to hurt because the cost of repairing vehicles, the cost of paying off a totaled car, so high for the insurance industry right now. Plus, something happened to us during COVID. As a general rule, people across America are driving much more dangerously today, much more aggressively than they were three years ago. And that's led to an increase in the fatality rate, the injury rate, the accident rate, and the cost of these claims for insurers. So you got rising costs of processing each claim and the number of claims going up at the same time. So insurers are not uh, being crooked by raising rates, but everybody has their own uh, profit goals, their own methodology and all that. And at the same time, a lot of people don't want the invasion of privacy that comes with dialing back some of these rates by allowing the insurer to plug a device in your car and track everything you do. Or in some cases, insurers put an app on your phone or have you download an app on your phone. And then they're tracking how you drive through the app on your phone and generating rates that could be higher or lower for you. Well, when it first came up as a tiny little startup, I talked about what could be a really viable alternative for a lot of people and that's Mile Auto. Mile Auto that today is in nine states. In the next few months, they should be covering, by their guess, about two-thirds of the population across the country. And they just were able to raise more money for expansion. So what they do is they provide a real deal to people who drive a smaller number of miles a year, typically less than 10,000 miles a year, what they do is they bill you strictly based on the miles you drive and your prior history as a driver. So you pay a base rate and then you pay per mile you drive. So people who drive less than the national average of miles get a lower rate. People who drive more pay more so it's especially appealing to people who drive less than a typical driver. And my goodness, there are people who live uh, in more urban situations who may drive only like five, 6,000 miles a year, could save a fortune in a situation where you're paying per mile like this. So this is a company that has been active in the big states they're in, California, Texas, and Georgia, they're in six smaller states, and they're expanding to New York and Florida, to New Jersey, Wisconsin, a lot of the big states. And they'll be somewhere most of the country before too long. Ultimately, they plan to be a 50-state insurer, but every state would have to be willing to have them write what they do. And you may find that the quote from them is not reasonable, but it's really a good idea for you to check to see if they're in your state and if they are, get a quote from them. They do not spy on your driving. The only thing they want is they want pictures of your odometer at certain times for validation, verification of what you're actually driving. And what's cool is the phone knows when the picture was taken, so you can't cheat on the odometer reading. Let's hope you wouldn't think to do that anyway. And being billed for what you're driving and not being billed at the national average of miles could save you a lot of money. Is for the customer service, to my knowledge, 